We have fun watching Phineas and Ferb. But did you know Phineas and Ferb are watching you? When you mention summer, there's two animated kids who immediately want to know your location. Aw oh yeah, Phineas and Ferb are legendary. Their seemingly endless summer of building inventions may have come to an end five years ago, but that doesn't mean it's the last we've seen of him. Thanks to the upcoming movie Kansas Against the Universe, they are finally back in the spotlight. But recently, something interested me about the series that not many other people talk about. We know that Phineas and Ferb are completely fictional characters and only exist in our world as a TV show, but what if I told you that the very characters of Phineas and Ferb are aware of that. They know that their lives are nothing but a TV series built for someone else's entertainment, and they're completely okay with that. If you've never really thought about this while watching, that would make sense. But today, just for funsies, let's dive into some of the biggest examples throughout the series that these characters know more than expected. Things that seem so obvious at first glance, but are just overlooked as jokes. The best place to start is probably the show's theme song. Phineas and Ferb are sitting under the tree in the classic spot, thinking of any possible thing they can do. We then get a glimpse into all the inventions and adventures they can go on throughout their endless summer, which will let them have a ton of fun! It's your typical catchy cartoon theme song, but I want to just mention the final few seconds. Phineas and Ferb dance with their adventures zooming by in the background, and Candace yells out the iconic line, Mom! Phineas and Ferb are making a title sequence! <laughs> It's simple enough where you just laugh a little because they're acknowledging this is a TV show, but it's mostly shrugged off as a joke. Either way, that's only a hint for things to come. If we take a look at the actual show, there are more than a few instances where Phineas, Ferb, and even a bunch of other characters just look at the camera for their reactions, or even talk directly to the audience about how they're feeling. Glad insult to injury, the platypus is leaving. They know that what's happening to them is being played out in front of other people, directly referring to me, you, and anyone else catching their episodes. There's also the fact that this is an extremely formulaic show. I'm not saying that's a bad thing, by the way, since Phineas and Ferb is a master of formula and always delivers with fresh stories, but think about it like this. If almost every day of your life felt like the same general thing, you may wonder if any of it is real. All the time, they say the same kinds of lines, Perry goes missing, their inventions somehow how disappear, every episode follows a traditional path. At this point, the boys are well aware that their lives are part of a TV show, thanks to this predictable formula they go through. You gotta keep in mind that most shows will stick to strict storytelling methods, and there's a lot of repetition out there that we don't instantly recognize. With Phineas and Ferb caught in that episodic repetition, they know something's up. Across the second dimension sees our heroes trying to cheer up the other dimensions Phineas and Ferb. They go on and on about why Summer is special, and eventually break to their very own theme song. It's also surfing tidal waves, creating an robot to locate Frankenstein's brain. Yeah, it's just a quick gag that's over before you know it, but if we think about this in terms of the actual characters, how do they even know about their theme song? It ties back into Candace's line earlier. In order to actually sing the words of their theme, they have to know about an opening, and they have to realize that their lives are nothing but a TV show. In the very final episode, when the gang sings about all their summer adventures and what they've accomplished with their inventions, Phineas starts singing about things that didn't even happen. Well, I mean, they happened, but the problem is that he's not supposed to know about them. For example, he kissed Isabella in Across the Second Dimension, but his mind was erased, so he shouldn't even be mentioning that detail. Isabella kissed me, but I got my mind erased. Hey, what? You just wait 10 years. If we take a look at this from every angle, there's absolutely zero explanation for him to know about these things. Unless he realized that everything was just a TV show. The episode Actor Age took place 10 years later, but as a kid, he still somehow knew exactly what would happen. He only knew this because it was a part of his own series. Now if you've looked over everything I've mentioned and just thought, these are all meant to be jokes, they don't count. Well, uh, you might want to keep watching. This leads me back to Candace Against the Universe, which surprisingly holds one of the biggest hints for the idea that these characters know the truth. In a brand new song called We're Back, Phineas greets the audience directly and sings with all our favorite characters. Almost every shot is a reference to a previous episode from the series. They're revisiting some of the more classic adventures, and it's legit an incredible song, but you can't expect anything less from Dan and Swampy. Anyway, the actual concept of the song doesn't make any sense in terms of the timeline. You see, this movie is meant to take place in the original summer, as confirmed by the creators. Since that's 
that's the case, why on earth would everyone be singing about being back when they never left? For them, it's just another random day. Five years passed by in our world since we've last watched Phineas and Ferb on TV, and yeah, it looks like Phineas is completely aware of that. He knows people are watching him and have missed him for the gap, even if this all still takes place in the original summer. Everything I've talked about culminates into one final moment from where back. Phineas sings about feeling groovy, and how in Disney Plus you can watch his brand new movie. Do, do I really have to say anything more right now? He, along with several others, are well aware that an audience is watching them. The signs are all here, but hey, it's not like this ruins the show or anything. It just adds an extra layer to the story, so that when you watch an episode or a movie, they canonically know that they aren't even real. But what are your thoughts on this whole thing? Would you say Phineas and Ferb know about us in real life? Or is there something different going on? Let's talk in the comments. But anyway, that's all for this video. Subscribe for more awesome cartoon videos. Give a thumbs up and comment below let me know what you think. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.